guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install this TP-Link AX3000 PCID adapter card. Now we're just going to get straight into this because I don't want to waste your time. First what you're going to do is going to take off this seal on it. So I'm just going to get my multi-tool knife and just cut it open. You just cut the sides off. You can really do it any way you want. I'm going to take this seal off the box though. Inside, when we open it up, we have the card and some other tools. We have something like this. Oh, we have the two antennas right here, or that's just one of them. And then there's another one right here, so I'll put this to the side. Then we have the main card, which we can just take out of the box, like that. And then we have this um, bracket to hold it in place. And finally, this um, 4.0, I mean this USB thing that you have to plug in. So, and I'm pretty sure under the box there is, yes, there is the manual and the necessary TP-Link drivers. Now that is very important because if you do, don't install that, then it will not work. Now, there might be a download for it, but we're gonna be checking that out later. Okay, let's get into installing this. So all you'll need for this process should be these main parts. First, we're gonna unwrap this. And it almost looks like this is some sort of, oh, this is for a smaller case, if this does not fit, I think. Um, I presume it's that, but I can check the manual in case it's not. So here we just have the card with the information on the back. You can see that it says the AX3000 Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.0 and PCIe adapter. We're not gonna put the, um, the, antennas on yet because we want to make sure it fits in the case first. So right here you'll see this little hole right here. That is where you're going to plug in the um, little USB thing. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're simply going to unravel this. Okay. That this in right here. We're going to try to hide this as best as possible because it's not the best looking. Luckily it's black so it'll look better in my case. So it should look like this before you put it in. Now let's go ahead over to the case and install this. Okay so let's uh, just install this. First I'm going to take off these thumb screws which I'm going to actually need my little screwdriver for it. Okay, I'm gonna take off this glass, so I gotta be careful. Okay, now we're in. If you can see right here, there's that little thing right there. So you're gonna be installing it there. I'm gonna try to put my light on so you can see it. Hopefully that helps you a little bit to see it, but it's just a little slot right there. And you're gonna slot this little bracket right here into that small slot. I'm just gonna unscrew this really quick. So there it is. Um, you can put it in any slot you want. Just make sure you check your motherboard first, your mother motherboard model before to make sure that the um, it'll like not interfere with anything and that the speeds are correct. So I'm just going to slot that in here. Huh. Okay, so it looks like my um, motherboard is actually like the v VMRs, I think they're called, are actually blocking my, um, my ability to get in there. So I'm just gonna put these back on. I can take this one on the bottom out. 
and I'm just gonna slot that in right below my motherboard. As you can see, let me hit my flashlight again. Right under there, there is a little PCI thing right there. So I'm just gonna slot that in. There we go, it clicked in. And these aren't very big PCI things, so after it clicks in, it should be secured. Okay, now that you have installed it and secured it, what you're gonna wanna do is install this USB 2.0, I think, header into one of your sauce on your motherboard. If you don't have one, you can get a, like, um, extender where you can get multiple or cord, you know, something like that. So I have one down here, but I wanna make it look nice. So I'm gonna route it. So I'm routing it to my third, uh, my USB 2.0 header, which is right here. So mine is slotted in correctly. So I'm gonna close back up my back cover. Don't wanna drop this. Okay. Another important part to this is installing the antennas. I want to flip it around. Okay, so you're just gonna unravel these like this. You should be able to pull them off. Oh no, they're actually taped, I think. Maybe you just have to, yeah, do that when you squeeze them off. Once you got all that off, you're going, there's these little turn things right here, they have a grip on them, and you're just gonna turn that in. Now we're gonna repeat this process again with the other one, and then you can just twist them up like that. Now if they do get in the way of your um, graphics card, no problem, you can just move them like this or that, or <laughs> I need to twist these more. Like that, whatever way you need to, but I'm just gonna keep them like this for now. 